San Francisco rookie quarterback Brock Purdy appears to have injured his right throwing elbow on this play. This just occurred in the NFC Championship game against the Eagles. Let's go ahead and break this injury down and discuss whether he might return or not. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Dr. Nav Badesha. If you guys enjoy the medical science behind different sports injuries, please be sure to subscribe. In order to understand this injury, you have to understand elbow anatomy. The elbow is a hinge joint composed of three bones, the upper arm bone known as the humerus and two bones of the forearm are the radius and the ulna. You can see the nerves in yellow. The one we'll focus on shortly will be this one, the ulnar nerve. And this structure here is the ulnar collateral ligament or the UCL. Ligaments connect bone to bone. Function of the UCL is to be a major stabilizer of this elbow joint and to aid in throwing motions. The UCL has three bundles. Reports have not specified which bundle Purdy may have injured. There are two factors that likely contributed to Brock Purdy's elbow injury. His elbow got forced backwards into a position that's beyond what it normally would, causing a combination of excessive external rotation of his shoulder and an increased load on this elbow. And number two, with the defender pushing on his arm when he tries to throw forward, it causes his arm to slingshot forward, which puts additional strain on this ligament. The combination of these factors likely caused the sprain. A sprain is a tear. A uh, grade one is a mild sprain. A grade two is a partial tear. And a grade three is a full thickness tear. This ulnar nerve is something to watch as well. It runs through the medial portion of the elbow and you might know this as your funny bone. It can become irritated in throwers and sometimes it even snaps out of place and can rub against the bony prominence. It's possible that this nerve subluxes during the throw Purdy was making or pops out, and that can cause pretty significant pain. It can even cause numbness or tingling in the small finger and ring finger. Throwing athletes also typically report a loss of accuracy, velocity, and overall throwing effectiveness. So what's this all mean? This is a concerning injury because it is his throwing elbow. My suspicion is it's a grade one or at worst a grade two. If it's a grade one, there is a small chance that he could return in this game. However, that would put him at further risk of tearing this ligament further. If this is a grade two, I do not think it's in his best interest to play yet. He will need to be careful because playing with a grade two increases your chances of progressing to a full thickness tear, which would mean that he would be done for the year, done for the playoffs, and he would likely have to have reconstruction surgery, also known as the Tommy John surgery. The game's about to enter halftime right now and Purdy hasn't returned. I'm sure we'll learn more about the injury here in the second half. That's it for the video today, guys. Please leave your questions and comments below, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new. See you next time.